What's up viewers? We're going caravan shopping and super excited. Without the children. <laughs> this is definitely going to be a different experience. A little bit quieter, a little bit more measured and uh, maybe time to look in detail at what we need. Maybe you can grab a coffee. Yeah, absolutely. Sounds good to me. We have shortlisted a few caravans online, three, with the similar layout that we think is what we're looking for. But it's always better to look at these in person to really get a feel for how it's going to work for us. So stay tuned to find out how we get on. Hello, here we are, our local caravan dealers. So we're here to look at three different caravans, all with a similar layout. This one is the... Pegasus Grand SE. So all the caravans that we're looking at today are all twin axle and they're all eight foot wide. And we need a minimum, with that noisy car going by, we need a minimum of five foot, but most of them are typically seem to be six foot. So let's have a look at this first one. Welcome to the Grand SE Terrain. Um, lovely interior, nice and dark, which is perfect for children. Nice and comfy seating areas. Have a look round. Liking the feel and the look of these top cupboards. Lots of space and some clothes. Perfect for <laughs> children. Yes. One problem so far. Okay. Small problem. I really, really wanted the U shape dinette. Why is that a problem? Well, there's five of us, and I'd like everyone to be able to squeeze in. This could be a solution though because in this caravan they've made the dinette area twice the size there is enough space easily for two adults to sit on one side yeah. which means we could put the three children on the opposite side yeah typically on a normal seven foot whatever they are caravan this dinette is much narrower and that's where you really see the benefit of an eight foot wide caravan it's almost almost that bit extra but only getting three kids in there, I mean, that's fine now while they're relatively small, but it would cause a problem as they get bigger, it would mean the length of time we own the caravan could, could reduce. And we don't really want to be changing. We want something that's going to get us, I don't know, at least five years out of it, do you think? Yeah, the only other solution that you may be able to get is they have put a seated area underneath the table. Now, whether you can unclip this one and oh, put a slightly smaller table in yeah. to incorporate a child in there. It, it'd be better with a freestanding table like we've seen in some of the others. Definitely, but and have you seen you could... this? Have you seen this? Look that's, at the size of this fridge. That's a big old fridge. This is fantastic for a big family. Lots of space. Is that the freezer at the top? We've got a separate freezer in this one. Massive as well, isn't it? Both good spaces. It's definitely a tick on my list. Can anybody spot the problem? No. It's quite a small area. I'm not gonna lie. Trying to prep the dinner in here could be quite difficult, especially if you were going to use the hob. Oh, I see. So you get extra work surface, but it's under there, so you can't use that work surface at the same time as cooking. Correct. No. Oh, okay. Um, it's not one of those pull-up surfaces. Not that spotted so far. No. I mean, there would no. be nowhere for it to be. And we've not got a pull-out section either. So there's no way to forget which caravan you bought. And the name's plastered all over the kitchen. <laughs> and if you're... Uh, that's where you have to put the kettle. That's you're where you're going to have to put your kettle, kettle because your you only have this area. You're going to have to alternate your items. I'll tell you what I think is a little bit strange, and more so than having a plug and socket over there, is the control panel seems to be over there as well for the heating and water. I don't know, I thought these always used to be above the door. Maybe not, maybe things have moved on. Have we looked what's above the door? Is there anything there this time? There is nothing at all, just a little shelf. Ooh. That's it. There's a kind of small control panel there for the water, lights, battery level. But there would have been space to put it up there. It could have gone there in the middle. Yeah, I think it, yeah, maybe it would have been there. 
Right, let's have a look in the uh, storage. The the... I think the, is there a wardrobe there? There is. Now I've secretly had a look at this already. Yeah. This is big. Right, let me move in and have a look in there. Come and have a look. Yeah, that's a good size. That is a very good size. Everything's together, shoes in the bottom, storage boxes galore, one for yeah. everybody, space to hang things up. And it comes with an anaconda. You can tell by that that it's a blown air heating system, which uh, that's, what the, that's what the control panel is. Let's have a look in the bathroom. Okay. Yeah, good size. That's odd, isn't it? There's two plug waste outlets. It's obviously for if you've not leveled. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, it's a good size in here. I do like that the sink is not right into the corner. Because being a left-hander, I would find with these sinks that it's difficult to brush your teeth because the you're up against this bulkhead here. Off into the bedroom we go. Okay. So, like quite a lot of the thick beds that you find in the caravans, we've got a quite a serious cut-off going off the mattress on this that one. Looks, that looks more of a cut-off than I've seen before. It does give you more space for during the day, and you are only laying there in the evening. But you would have to lay at an angle, wouldn't you? A bit of privacy with the curtain. Oh, not so easy to move though. I was thinking that this was going to be slightly better than the concertina door that you tend to get. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, feels like maybe it could have done with being slightly longer. What they have managed to do though, and what is very important for a morning drink for a caravan. Now you can see again, you've got his Place. and hers shelves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cup of tea shelf in the morning or maybe a glass of wine shelf in the evening if the kids are in the living room area. One thing that I always look out for which might not be important to you is where does the TV go and then we don't watch a lot of TV in bed but it's nice to have that option and it doesn't appear if you pull that curtain back is there an option there to mount a TV? And the answer is no there is not. No. Hmm, that's a shame. I feel that the living areas are unquestionable for size, um, definitely for a family caravan. I can see it working. I think they've done it to a nice finish. They've got a brilliant size fridge. But I think, unfortunately, I think the big fridge has come at a cost to the kitchen. Yeah. I think the kitchen, unfortunately, is the let down here. So you would have preferred a shorter fridge with more work surface? I would have preferred a bigger kitchen with more work surface and still a big fridge. Okay, so you wanted it all. <laughs> I wanted but the all compromise would have been a smaller fridge and more work surface. I think for the design of the caravan, based on how they've got the rest of it set out, I think they've missed a trick. They okay. would have been better to have kept a smaller fridge. This is the Unicorn Pamplona. Now this is a four bath, so it's no good for us, but we did spot this feature. That is awesome. Look at that built-in wine rack. That would work out great, wouldn't it? It would. This is such a lovely finish in here. It is so nice. So nice. I like those little cupboards at the top up there, the little corner cupboards. Let's have a look how small they are. Oh, oh that's where the radio lives. That's try just the, for the radio. Try the other side. That's all right. It's, at least it's not dead space. You can make you could, some use of it. Look what we've found here, though. Big fridge and separate freezer, and we have a shower separate to the actual bathroom. Now you're gonna have to come through, and then you can open the door yourself. Yeah. Got you. Yeah, I like, I like it. This is a really nice finish. It's a pity that this layout doesn't work for us. See, TV bracket ready to go in the bathroom, in the bedroom. It's 
what I like to see. Check out the kitchen though. This kitchen is not anything much bigger than that's, the previous I, one. I would even say that's exactly the same. But this feels It feels bigger, bigger. now, but look, you've got the extra. Oh, here that's we what, go. That's what the other one was missing. Ching. You've got that, fantastic. Maybe it's the wine the, rack uh, that's working for us. Could be the wine <laughs> rack that does it. Everything looks really smart. The microwave looks smart. Kitchen looks really smart. And even this, <laughs> look, it's got like um, <gasps> velvet on the walls. Nice. Yeah. You might just end up stroking the wall all day though. <laughs> TV bracket look, there as well. Like, that's where you wanted the TV to go. Exactly, yeah. Beautiful caravan. Beautiful. Unfortunately, only four berth though. So we're going to have to pass on this one. Say goodbye to the Pamploma. Pamplona, I can't even pronounce it. Pam. Here we go. Plona. Anyone that's looking to buy one. There you go, there's the details. We can do a perfect advert for you. This caramel, if I can remember the name of it, is the Coachman Arcadia 660 Extra, which is the eight foot wide version. And the first thing I can see, which is more we were looking for, is a happy me. Is the U shape side dinette. Just to have a little dance in here as well. Oh. That window at the top is massive. I don't think we've had one like this before. That is huge. But this L-shaped sofa, I normally am against an L-shaped sofa. I'm not sure why. You see, I'm the opposite. I'm the opposite. I love an L-shaped uh, lounge. I feel sometimes that I like the old school way of doing things. Do you but... not think it feels more spacious though with an L-shaped lounge? I can see the TV point from here. Well, you see, I'm always thinking about where's the TV going to live? TV's going to live where here. Where am I going to sit? And Andrew's going to be sat just about here. Yeah, that's Bagsy my or, seat there. More like Andrew would be to go here. In the corner. <laughs> yeah. So you look yeah. for the dodgy seat, that'll be mine. Yeah, you've got me sussed out. Right, well, let's move on from the lounge okay. to the area we found for you, for your TV. I'm happy with that. Perfect. Great TV position. You love the L-shaped lounge. L-shaped feels really spacious. Andrew's happy so far. So let's have a look at the kitchen. I complained about the small areas in the previous. You ones. never complain about anything, my dear. <laughs> I'm more than happy to swap and you can do the cooking when we come on the caravan strips. But here, plenty of space. I like how they've covered the sink much better. Can still use it. Do you think there's more surface uh, work surface in there? Doesn't there's feel more like workable it workable space. Okay, so because you can use the top of the sink. As well, you can use the top of the sink. You can't do any prep on there. No. You can, but you can use it for storing. The plus side that I'm finding with here is that you've got your prep area. You've got a bit of storage when you getting all your bits and pieces out that's fine yeah. but your plates can go straight onto the table behind you yeah so you can lay the table although i have to admit this table is slightly small it's for a small, table of five to six people yeah there may be a, a bigger table in the cupboard that goes in the lounge area we've got some nice storage areas here nice things that you don't necessarily see in all the caravans nice big pull out drawers but something that's one knee over. And sometimes in the caravan, with the smallest amount of space, it's being able to have the simple things that you use on a day to day. Yeah. The difference with this caravan, I've noticed already, is we've got a big wardrobe, which I've not looked inside yet, but I'm noticing there's two drawers down at the bottom. Okay. We don't usually have this. Yep, yeah, it is just your basic wardrobe. Um, you've got your rail at the top, but there's plenty of storage. Um, you need to pile some boxes in there for things that you're going to be using on a day to day. These are nice big drawers. This Can is going to be in. like being at home. Come and have a look. That's quite deep, isn't it? Nice big drawers, and I'm guessing they're both going to be the same size. Yeah. 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 Deep sides. This is one of the things you find on caravans. You've got these drawers, but they're really shallow sides, so you can't put that much stuff in it. That appears to be the biggest fridge in the world. Yes, I feel that this is it's a quite narrow. fridge add-on. Let's have a look inside there. That is there. very narrow. It's a bit misleading, I okay. have to admit. Yeah, it looks massive, 
but it's quite narrow and it's not. Is that, is that shallower than normal? Would you say? I'm, I'm no gonna, fridge expert. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say that you're not gonna get much more in this one than you would do in the standard small ones, yeah. which then offer you more storage space. What we should have done is check the literage because that's the that's the bit that gives you more accurate information about the amount of space in the fridge. What's that little fellow there? That must be the table, sure. Here's your table. Yeah, so there's the pull-out table for the lounge area. And through to the bedroom. Mattress looks lovely and comfortable. I did have a lie on it, not demonstrating this time. Cut off here, much smaller, I think you'll notice, than one of the other bands that we've shown you. Um, a good thing, we have space for a TV. Lovely. Nice TV bracket and Wonderful. a switch. There is a shelf underneath it, okay. which is great. At least we won't lose the remote control. Yeah. But what I have noticed is that that is the only shelf, which means there's nowhere for your cup of tea in the morning. Oh. That's slightly disappointing. Right. Should we have a look in the bathroom? You have a look. It looks uh, pretty smart. Fancy curtains. A little cupboard up there, some shelves. Looks like a good sized shower. So this is a left-hander friendly basin for brushing your teeth. So this is the Swift Archway Sport Coldy Cup, eight foot wide. This is a dealer special model, but it's the same as, I believe, the Super Swift Quattro FB. That might be wrong. I might have to put a little text on the picture to correct my. It's Super Swift or Swift Super Large, something like that. We'll get that corrected. Anyway, let's talk about the lounge area on this caravan. There's a big old drawer. We've got quite a lot of storage in this. There's a drawer within a drawer. There's a drawer within a drawer. Yeah, and then you've got a little cubby at the bottom below that. This one is definitely a shoe cupboard. Yeah. With notes go. Ooh. There's a reason that I don't pull these bits yeah. out. There I don't we think go. You're qualified. At, at, <laughs> I'm at not that qualified for this job. Good. So that, looking at the, the plugs and sockets there, that's the TV position for this model, which isn't my preferred option, but it's not a deal breaker. And something that's important within the lounge area for a large family. It's deep sofas. Oh yeah, they are deep, aren't they? They're very deep. These are going to transfer into beds for our big kids. Yeah. Um, so there's plenty of length, plenty of width. You don't want anybody falling off in the middle yeah. of the night. Um, still somewhere that they can entertain themselves during the day. Yeah. Roof light, light. window. Yeah, is it thing. a roof light or a roof? I, yeah, I don't know. I'm I call it a roof light, but I mean, there's nothing light about <laughs> it. It lets light in. Maybe it lets light in through the roof. Maybe, until it doesn't. Until it doesn't, yeah. <laughs> the clue was in the title. Even though this is, I think, the, the entry level Swift model, it doesn't look basic to me. It's maybe, of course, it's not as plush as the Coachman and maybe not as plush as the Bailey. But I'm going to check and make sure that they Are they real curtains? curtains? Yeah, that's a good point. Have they cut corners? Are they real curtains? They, they are, are real, real curtains. curtains. Yeah, They've so, also put up here, you've got some USB sockets. Yeah, that's what you need now, isn't it? Everything. We've got USB on this side. There's USBs over oh, here. The TV connection, so the TV has to live in the middle there. That's good. You've got a little corner cubby up there. That's good. Um, let's see how deep these are. That's where the radio would be positioned. These are not soft clothes. I think it's only really important when you've got young kids because they just slam things and it... Or teenagers. Or teenagers. They like to slam. And it can drive you insane. As we've possibly worked out by now, I do like a bit of space in the kitchen. And I'm saying that I like this caravan. But it's not a massive amount of space. But it's definitely workable in comparison to some of the others. This one doesn't have a cover for the basin. But what I am noticing is sometimes with your standard melamine plates trying to wash in the actual caravan is difficult because they tend to give you the smallest sinks in the world that looks like a good size sink you need to come and look at this this looks, is a good size it looks massive that looks the same size at home 
it's not got the depth there but i don't think you need it with no. the amount of things that we're going to be washing in no you're going to only going to be washing up a few bits and pieces the rest you do at the uh, pot washing facility what have you on site sorry that was me caressing the tap oh sorry i'm, <laughs> I'm quite liking this yes. it looks very modern now this bit here looks really fancy i've already worked out from this that the kettle is going to be living underneath it's um, got a little cut through for the cable isn't it you can plug in your kettle there it can go through this thing plastic <laughs> cover and then the kettle can sit on that corner in there you so haven't got as much work surface what what's going for the kitchen then how's the so fridge looking we were only we we're only issued with a small fridge but it's got a much greater depth oh, yeah. than a previous Quite one that we've looked at it? in a coachman and um, you've got your separate boxes as well at the bottom and here for milk storage not that we tend to when we go in the caravan but you can get two four pints next to each other yeah okay so very happy with that you've got your three burner pop separate grill and oven you've got storage down here underneath which hopefully you've got your space saving pans to go for i'm gonna have a look in here and see whether there's anything special Ooh. that's really draw wow that's massive quite pleased with that i have to admit okay oh what's this Not meant to pull it out in that way, and I'm going to guess to be a drainer. It's a drainer, yes. Yeah. There you go. Oh, there you go. So you put that over that side or the other side. So you can wash, drain, leave. Yeah. The leave bit was for you. Yeah. I'm so happy. I think this is what you were looking for. This is exactly what I was looking Let's for. Let's see if we can get a better picture of this. We'll go high up with the camera. We managed to have a look at one earlier which was the um, double dinette so double seats on one side double seats on the other that was lovely um, but I just so wanted this extra space down the back and yeah. um, our children are still reasonably small at the moment and I just think that this particular area not only for food this is going to work for plenty of time for them yeah. to be able to do activities nice. Or even something a bit more creative, colouring or drawing or something. But that table is freestanding. I've noticed that different to yep. the last one. You can so rock it out you so can, you can see. Yeah, let's get in and rock that. So it's like a hydraulic table. And it's not square, it's rectangular, albeit only slightly. So you can have it so longer that way. It. And that will drop down to make up the bed. Again, with it being an eight foot wide caravan, you get a massive amount of extra space. Some buttons down here, so let's have a look what these do. Ooh, oh, these hello. are the extensions for the bed. So this area can be used as a, a three-quarter size bed as it is, or pulling this out, it converts into a double. So if you're looking at, or looking at buying a Quattro FB, the Swift eight foot version, and the layout of this will be exactly the same. The difference will be, because this is the deal of special, is the trim may not be the same. The, um, I think there's some extra features. This one has got a solar panel and um, some extra USBs. I think they're deal of special bits. But apart from that, this is the same as the Quattro FB. And if you're wondering what FB stands for, it's fixed bed. Trimmer blown air system. I haven't used this method before. I've used Aldi before and, and the very old Truma blown air with the, where you used to have a fire in the caravan. Which is, I don't think on new caravans you get that. And the control panel there tells you about the battery level, turn the water pump on and off, turn the interior lights on and off, master switch, um, and the awning light as well. Carbon monoxide and smog detector, fancy looking microwave. Wardrobe space, full length mirror. Full length mirror, yeah, I mean, caravan style full length mirror. You've got to make sure you look in your vest before you go out for the day. Well, how's it looking inside? I would say standard. Okay. We're going to go standard. Right. There's not a huge yeah, amount. Okay. But it appears to be one on each side, though. Is that why? So you're losing, Ooh, it's I not one full one. 
this one appears to be the storage for the extra table oh, okay. and some covers. And some covers. Cushions. That's when you're making the uh, dinette into a bed. But there is a lot of space down space, there at the bottom. Space, a lot of space down there. That looks great. So let's have a look at the bathroom. Well, it's a separate toilet and shower, which is always uh, a nice to have. It's not always the case, but on a budget model like this, I say budget, this, this caravan is, there's nothing cheap about it, but in their range is what I mean. This is the kind of entry level, I believe. It does the job, you've got some shelves. Standard toilet. Let's have a look at this sink, see if it's left hand friendly for brushing my teeth. Already, don't we? Well, it's possible. You it's a leave the door open. if I leave the door open, yeah, it's not ideal, but it, but it's not impossible. The lovely bedroom area, wonderful, lovely fixed bed, yeah, TV point shelves on both sides, yeah. excessive amounts of shelves, I would say, plenty of storage, plenty of space for your cup of tea in the morning, lovely headboard, yeah, storage space above. And you said there's a space for a TV, is that? I did. Let me have a look around there. There you go, you can fit one on the reverse oh, yeah. wall. Must be something on the inside of that wall for it to, to fix to, because there's the points for the TV. Wonderful. Wow. It's practically a complete double bed. Relatively speaking, that is a tiny amount of cut off. I know it's not a standard. And, that's, and that's, that is your reason so why So you lose a bit on your door width there, but what you gain is more mattress space. And for me, that's a benefit that because is definitely, that's my side. Yeah. I'm going to go for a thumbs up for this one. Yeah. This one ticks a lot of boxes. Well, we're going to have to do some homework and look at the sums and uh, try and weigh up the pros and cons of each. Fantastic. Well, we've had a look around, we've measured up, we've weighed up, looked at the pros and cons. I think we're gonna go home and see what works well, what compromises we're happy with. There's a couple of compromises, but there's also some benefits, don't you think? Then um, you make a decision whether or not, are we gonna buy a caravan? Or are we gonna buy one of these caravans that we've just seen? So make sure you come back on the next one to find out what happened. See you soon. Bye.